Hey, I'm Geeky Pastimes, and in this video, I'm going to take you through how to complete the puzzles on the Rebirth from the Ashes website, which is part of the kind of Easter egg event type thing that's happening for the beginning of Season 3 for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So the screen that you can see now, this is kind of what it looks like when you finished it. You get this weird little thing to play with. You press a button and it actually sends a message. Um, these are all real people sending these messages. And in the background, you get this kind of video that looks like it's showing for dance and a timer that's counting down to later today. So when you load up this for the first time, you will see this instead. So it will load up all of this um, and you've got lots and lots of text, lots of stuff explaining stuff and then it will say incoming message. So the first thing you need to do is just click on that and then it will load this uh, sort of sound file and video. You made it this far. Now it's time to go a little further. This is where the real work begins. Do you have the codes from the radio towers? Let's get you scanned in and verified. We'll try and connect you with the others securely, but the intel I had is unscrubbed. It's raw. Don't say we didn't warn you. So once you've done that, then you can close that. And now you'll get this new box, which accepts codes. Now there's lots of different things you can put into this and it sort of unlocks different things. So one of the things, so if you hover over some of the words in this, it will come up with this kind of flickering thing. So if I look over contained, then you can see it kind of flickers. That means it's one of the words you can use in this. And if you type in contained, then it'll come up with a picture and you see it's a picture of the dance, a picture of the new version of the map. Um, but that's not really the puzzle. You can see up here it says objective one, two, three, four. Now, to do this, you need to use some of the codes that you can get from clicking on, if you click on this picture of the missile, you will get this set of codes. Now, these are really, really important, and these are part of the sort of puzzle, the Easter egg. So these are all locations on the map. So we've got the kind of command center, Nova 6, which is like the chemical place, um, cell block, headquarters, and the security area. And then you've got these lists of 16 numbers. If you go to these locations in Rebirth right now and find a radio mast in each one, so there's like a red and white radio mast in each one of these, and hang around it, after a bit of time, you'll see something like this, where your screen goes a little bit fuzzy, and then a set of numbers will be read out, and it'll be another set of 16 numbers. So once you've got that, I've actually been um, sort of recording them on here. These are the ones that we did. And what you need to do is write down the original code, which is from the website, and then the code you get from the radio one. I just did it below it. And then what you can do is take the first one away from the second one with the pairs of numbers. And it sounds a little bit confusing, but it's really not too bad. So for example, this one is 39, then 38. So that would be just one for the first number. And then 12 minus 92. Now it loops around when it gets to 100. So that's eight below 100. So that would then be 20. So it's one, 20. Then if you look at a alphabet put next to a list of numbers, so just one to 26, you can see one is A, and then 20 is T, so that's AT. And then 95 minus 83 is 12, two minus one is one, so then we know that 12 is L, and then one is A. 83 minus 69 is 14, so we've got 14, and then 49 minus 29 is obviously 20. So now you've got 14, 20, which 14 is N. And then 20 is T, which we already know from back there. And then 10 minus 1 is 9. And then 04 minus, and that's, you know, 15 below 0. So it's 15 plus 4, which is 19. So 9 and then 19. So now you've got I and S. Then that spells Atlantis. Now, these codes, there's one for each of those locations. So one for control center, one for cell block, one for security area, one for Nova 6, one for headquarters. Getting them in game is obviously a little bit of a pain because you've got to go there and then listen to the radio thing and write it all down. But I've already done that for you. So these are the words that you will need. Parallax, Guardian, Oblivion, and Paradigm. So if we enter these on a website, I'll show you what you have to do for each one because there's kind of a little task for each one. So if we close that, and go up we'll do paradigm first we'll go from bottom to top so you type in paradigm and it will load up this thing that just says confirm lockdown 73370 now to do this one you have to just hold a button so i just hold the space bar 
and you can see it starts filling up the screen. Now sometimes when you get to a certain part of it, it will come up with kind of this funny little capture thing where this one says select the parachutes, you know, it's just like one of those Google things. Then you can keep on holding space. And you, I think you can press any button. I don't think it really matters which button that you're holding. If you're on a phone, you can probably just press onto the screen and it'll do it eventually. Um, then, you know, it says click on the heads and those three squares. These are the same captures that I got the last time I did it. So I don't think these are random. And as you're going, the last one's a little bit more sort of sinister. It says, find Adler, find Adler, find Adler. So you have to click on all of the boxes for that one. And then you can verify your humanity. And then you can keep on holding it. And eventually it will fill up the screen. You've got this weird kind of image in the background. Once it's filled up the screen, it shows you this is a picture of lockdown, which looks like it's going to be a new gulag. You can kind of see the walkways over the top, which is very cool. So you can close that down. You can see now we've done objective three. So if you go back and get another one, we'll do oblivion next. So go back to the website, type in oblivion. And these codes are always the same, so you can just type these in. Now this one says, are you going to allow location access? Now you can press that and then it'll just show you where you live, which you don't need to do, or you can opt out. And then it comes up with this map of the world with lots and lots of different locations. Now the one you want to click on is over here near Ukraine, because that's where Verdansk is. That's, you know, where um, Donetsk, the city that Verdansk is based on, that's where it is in real life. So just click on that one. You need to wait till you've got the red circle and then it will show you this little video and you can see there's some um, interesting little bits of footage going on here. I think bits of it are from the new map and then you report location and that says location reported and that's objective four completed. So now go back and we'll do guardian next. So you just type in guardian. Now this one says, who are you? And this one's a little bit strange. Like this one for me was, um, it didn't work very well. So sometimes it's like, hangs about, it says use Google Chrome for optimal experience. You can do it with any of them, I think. Um, I ended up having to plug in a webcam to get this to work. But I think sometimes people have managed to get like an opt out button by pressing tab. So you press tab and then it comes up and says opt out on the phone. Hopefully you should just be able to scroll down to this or like pinch to zoom out. So press opt out and you can just press capture and it will like capture record this video. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. We need to see you. There you go. And it says access granted. If you use a camera, then that actually takes like, it makes this cool little video type thing of you that you can then download. And then you can put in your name. And you put in all that information and it like creates this little um, like badge thing for you with your bits of information that you just filled in on there, which is pretty cool. So you just wait for that to process it like, I think it's actually creating a little video file for you, which is why you sometimes have to take a little while for it. Now all of those three are quite simple. You've done that, you've got objective two completed. Now last one's a bit trickier. So this one is parallax. So you type in parallax. And then you'll get this dead sound thing. It says break the code. Now, the way we completed this was um, Call of Duty put out a tweet that had these tones in it, had this kind of video with tones in it. And this is what we have to repeat on this. So when you click on one of these, it will play a tone. And you can actually see each one corresponds to a number. Now, on the actual thing, you might not be able to see it in the video very well. It, the things, the sort of shape is made up of sort of ASCII of lots of numbers. So that's all twos, that's all stars, that's all nines, etc. So the thing you have to type in, you have to press star, then you have to find the one that has lots of ones on it, which is over here. This makes my eyes feel funny. Then you go to the nine, then you go and find the eight one. Then you want the four, so now you're typing in 1984. If I can find four. Zero, seven, nine, Four, there we go. And then you want to type, press the one that's just like loads of like uh, the hash key, like that. And then it'll say success. And then it'll play this little video of like a helicopter. And then end transmission. So then you can close that one. And now you can see you finished all of the objectives. So now you can use the last code, which is Atlantis. Enter that and it'll say all objectives unlocked. 
and then it'll give you the chat window and it'll give you that shape that 3d shape and the timer for whatever's going to come next so that's how you complete everything that we can do so far on rebirth from the ashes.com if you found this video useful please don't forget to like and subscribe we're going to be streaming we've been streaming quite a lot over the last day and we're going to be streaming even more for all the rest of this section at twitch.tv forward slash geeky pastimes so come check us out follow me on twitter i'm geeky pastimes over there and you know i'll post when i go live and stuff like that and anything else that we find so thank you very much and goodbye Bye.